is the front around here, right? So, yeah, that looks good. That's ready. You get the bark cleaned up. Vinegar and a toothbrush. Yeah, that's going to be nice, man. That's going to be really nice in the show. Looks good. Clean up the bottom a little bit underneath the foliage. Just a little bit. There's not much there. All right, it, when in doubt, if you're never sure about if you want to get rid of something or not, the magic cloth. And you take and you cover up whatever you think you may not want. Let's see what happens if we were to get rid of that end of that branch and everything that's connected to it. Hey. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, see? Yeah, I knew that's why very did the nuts. That was worth the price of the class right there. Yeah, it was. Especially for she, you guys. I know why she bought that towel now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I buy these I buy these by the packages, oh, yeah. believe me, because I use them so much. I come in and if I'm working on a big tree, I have thirty of them on the tree. Alright? I mean not as much as I used to, but but even even today I still use them a lot. You never know, you know, you think you've got something right, you cover them and go, wait a minute, don't yeah. be quite so hasty here. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and if you're unsure, always take off a little and then take off more. Alright. For that, you want to cut this. Now, when you're going to cut something that's almost as, as thick as half this is, you can go up to about a, you should, good rule of thumb is really a third. You can probably go closer to a half, but a good rule of thumb is third. If it gets any thicker than that, you want to take it, cut it in, in stages. You'll want to cut it half and then cut the rest so you don't split it. Otherwise, you'll split it and it'll break back, all right? And you'll lose something that you didn't want to lose. And then you can come back and get rid of the main part of it. Then you can come back and you can nibble at it. All right. show you real quick. See what I'm doing is taking all the long ones off, taking them back to two or four. Mm -hmm. Or back to where they get like, and starting to get small again. Take that off because it kind of is interfering with the curve there. Mm -hmm. Growing off the bottom. Anything growing off the bottom always get rid of. Grow them back in towards the trunk. Get rid of it. You don't have to go this fast. You can you can uh, take your time with it. I notice that a lot because it's it's long and straight. All right, no movement to it. It really catches your eye. So let's try and put a little bit of movement into it. We're going to shorten it up just a little bit for right now. Let's make this shorter so it's getting smaller to the top. Mm -hmm. Round that off a little bit. All right, so now it starts to look a little bit more like a tree. All right. It does. Now, do you need to put anything on that? On no. The wall, nothing. Don't worry about it. It's only like one of those big ones. You don't even worry about that too much. If you're going to put anything on there, put Elmer's glue. Okay. It seals it good and it soaks into the wood. The, the cut paste, bonsai cut paste, it just, it can. It can hold, hold more pathogens under there than what it's going to protect it from, so. All right. What do you want to do with this? I don't know. What's this? Is this something you want to, is this something you want to work or is this something uh, yeah, you want to? We want to work this one. All right. The broom style. This is not the broom style. This is not a Sarissa. Okay. This is an invalid sticker. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear right. that. This is a Ficus Benjamina Too Little. Oh, okay. Right, Annie? Yes, it is. Thank you. Good luck. I uh -huh. love them. I love them. Okay. I would clean all these off. Okay. All the little ones. Sounds good. In Jemina. Now, didn't we say everybody, okay. beginners always want to get rid of the little ones, didn't we? And I, I, clean it, I clean it right off to begin with up to here. All right. Take it your time, John. I am. Puts out like a little milky substance. Yes, yeah. Uh, some people are sensitive to it. I am. Oh, good. I have to say, I'm not 
That's all I need. Really? Gloves, but forget it. I can't. Latex gloves. I know. Yeah. They're All right. Why do you get rid of that? Well, well I would. Uh, well, check over there. Look over there, and if you see it, well, now it's too late. Right? Yeah, it's gone. Uh, either cut that double off. Hmm? And let this be the top. I don't. I don't really. Uh, really don't. See how big this is? It's taking over the trunk. Uh, this one here. Yeah. The big one. Let's nice. get rid of them. Yeah. All right. Is that all right with you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're right at. All right. Let's get rid of all this little stuff growing off here. Do we? Can we use that? Probably not. See this taper up here? We got no taper up no here. No taper. Right. All right. Let's make this the top. Okay. All right. No yeah. taper. Let's bring it out and make this a little bit smaller for right now. I have it. Do the same oh, thing over here. We're yeah. going to come back to here. All right. So you went back to that first branch. I know. I have to this that. taper. That's a good back branch. We'll get rid of these. Get rid of any suckers that are growing in the crotch, always, of a branch you're going to keep. That's too close to the trunk. Now, we want this one. We need a back branch. That one's very important. We're going to get rid of these. That is the front of the tree. going to use this for the front. This is the back. This is back, too. So. This one might actually be a better back branch, but we'll see. We'll keep them both for right now. That might branch we might keep. All right, so now these could actually be wired down. This could all be wired down. All right, that's too tall. Let's so take it back so to right here actual, for right now. The overall height of that like right now, you really don't want it to get any higher than that. Um, until it gets bigger. Yeah. 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 Well, that's one guideline. Twelve was the classical way. Now they say like six or three, but. But uh, well, threes should be. <laughs> yeah, it's a really little fat guy. Yeah, yeah, they use threes a lot now for like mamays and smaller really? trees. Yeah, well, but it was twelve classically. Really? Yeah. I now people was... use six a lot. Yeah. I, I, I use six. Yeah, that's fine. That's what fine. What are you talking about? The ratio of the diameter of the trunk to the height of the tree. Yeah. So, okay. but you definitely don't want to go over twelve usually. And now you can either wire this or with ficus, you can massage them a little bit every day. And they will gradually stay down on their own because of that, that sap that's in there. It's like rubbery almost. It gets, and, it, and you keep doing that to the cambium and it starts holding, it starts holding in place after a while. The thinner they are, the better it'll work. All right, but. And then these could all be wired down too. Wiring is going to be another class. We'll put a piece of wire on this on these two. But there's your tree, more like that. So to start, that's getting the basic structure. This isn't the tree, finished tree, obviously. But I'm going to take this back even to here. I can use that. All right. Got that. We don't need this one, do I? Yeah, we're not gonna keep that because it's all in opposite that back branch there. So now you got the structure better. Now you can let it start growing out and filling in more, okay? And you'll probably get something sprouting out of here, and that's yeah. fine when you do. You want to use it horizontally as a branch, and not as a top. One top. Right. Make this sure tree basically top. had two tops, this one and this yeah. one. Yeah. And this smaller one was better, because yeah. it gave you better taper, okay? Yeah. And it also gave you a little movement there, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. 
These grow really, really fast. You, in, in, a, in a very short amount of time, this will be filled out again, and, and you'll have, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll you won't even be able to keep up with it. Yeah. Same thing for you. Yeah, this, Don't let this moss grow around the edge of the yeah. trunk here because it'll rot it. It'll rot it. I'll fix that. All right. Yeah. Vinegar and toothbrush, old toothbrush. It'll kill that moss. Yeah, yeah, it'll get, definitely get rid of it. Now, what I would do with this one is I would plant it in a shallower, because it's already got a pretty good root system start. I would plant it in a shallower, wider tray, all right, and make sure I spread these roots out good and set it down so you get the spokes of a wheel off those roots and get it planted down flat and wired into the pot. And then that'll develop a really nice ba flare or base off of that, and this tree will look tremendous. Oh, like, uh, get a root system like that. I mean, uh, well, it'll grow out like that. Okay. Right, 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 right. Not, not even, even better than that because you'll get it more on the surface, okay. which is better, okay? When you're elevated in the air like that, it's usually not a desirable feature. Although with this tree it works, but it's usually something that you don't want. But this tree's more of a, it got more of an exposed root style, so it's fine.